Now in this video we're going to explore partial sums of arithmetic sequences, which again makes it fairly easy to do. But uh, we're going to go through and start off with a quick little story. It's about a um, <clears throat> smart kid who uh, was annoying his teacher one day and his punishment the teacher made him um, add up the first positive 100 integers. So he had to go and add up 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and some of you I know are already thinking well that wouldn't be so hard he would just throw it all in his calculator and figure it out in a couple seconds. Well you're right but the problem is they didn't have calculators. This is back in the olden days uh, back when like Mr. Kramer went to elementary school. But um, what he did was he was a very smart man and he went through and he figured out that if he adds these up that's the sum of the first 100 numbers. He could then reverse the order like so. All right, 100 to 1. And when he adds those two together, he gets 2 S sub 100 equals 101 plus 101 plus 101 plus 101 plus dot 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 plus 101 plus 101. Well, now he's figured it out. There's 100 of these 101s. And so he can multiply those two together and get one, uh, 10,100, and that's double the sum. So if he divides that by 2, divides that by 2, he gets the sum of 5,050. Well, needless to say, this man was a genius, or a boy at the time, and his name was Goss, G-A-U-S-S, -S, not the Goss that we know. And um, he went through and did Gaussian elimination and came up with many different formulas and, and whatnot that were uh, very important mathematically. So this right here, this process, gives us these two formulas which are dealing with how to find sums of arithmetic sequences. So we want to write those down and it's S sub n equals n over 2 plus or times a sub 1 a sub n first term last term. Here we could substitute this in for right here and get this formula n over 2 equals 2 a sub 1 plus n minus 1 d. Either formula works really well and we can go through and fill those out. Now, we're going to do a couple examples with this. I think there's four examples. So let's, uh, let's do these two, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So the first example says, find the sum of the first 40 terms of the arithmetic sequence, 3, 10, 17, 24. Now, we don't know the last term, so I'm probably going to just use this formula. S sub n equals n over 2, 2, a sub 1, plus n minus 1 d. That was from the original page. Do I know the first term? Sure, it's 3. Do I know the common difference? Sure, that's 7 because I add 7 there, add 7 there, add 7 there, so on and so on. Do I know how many terms there are? Yep, it says right there, the first 40 terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say s sub 40 equals 40 divided by 2, 2 times 3 plus 40 minus 1 times 7. And I can go through and simplify this. There's 26 plus 39 times 7. Uh, and my final answer, let me just take a look here, is 20 times uh, 6 times 273. 20 times 279 is 5580. So the sum of the first 40 terms is 5580. We're going to use that formula over and over again in our next three examples.